The final flurries of photo ops and party faithful with their banners, time running out to get the message across. We've now got until Thursday night to win this election. Thursday night to save the NHS. Thursday night to end child poverty in Britain. Thursday night to end homelessness in Britain. Thursday night to build the houses that we need. Thursday night. Thirsty night to get a government you can trust. But then the awkward, unscripted moment a recording emerges of Labour frontbencher Jonathan Ashworth picking Jeremy Corbyn apart. It's dire, uh, and it is, it's the combination of Corbyn and Brexit. The question is, for Labour, it gets itself a half-decent leader next time round, whether it can reverse and regain its sort of traditional sort of heart and seats. The party leader carried on his day regardless. The man on the tape said he'd just been joking with a Tory friend. So, Because he's a Tory who I've always had a bit of joshing with over the years and trying to get him to sort of lull him into a false sense of security, like sort of trying to psych him out. But clearly it's, uh, you know, I look stupid now. Stupid? But does it affect voting? We asked the craft class ladies at a community centre Jeremy Corbyn visited today. I think it could do, yeah, I think it could do. I think anything has a, a certain resonance, doesn't it? It depends what kind of morons listen to it, doesn't it, you know, and whether they're going to put any credence in it. I like the fact that people cover an opposing views within a party. You, don't, you, you can work with people you don't necessarily get on with. Was he joking or was he not? He says he was joking. Who knows? And just like the jokes that'll go into these Christmas crackers, political humour, along with votes, can be a matter of taste. Peter Lane, 5 News, Bolton.